Next, we will see how to pick a message using the code. So far, we were able to pick using the Service Bus Explorer into Azure portal. For that, I'll go back to the code. And in this, what I will do first here is I'll just change the message which we are going to send. Hello, Rohit, pick message. And we will create a receiver. So sender is there, receiver is there. And instead of receiving this message, what we will do, I'll just remove these things. In the receiver here, apart from giving the queue name, we can also give the options. So for the options, what I have to mention here is, so it will be service bus options. There I will be mentioning the mode. So in this, I will be selecting the receive mode and there I will mention. So I want to receive the message in the peak mode. So I'll select the peak lock here as in this option we will be selecting. Now, what we have to do next here is, we have to peak, the next, peak on the next message. So service was message received and message is equal to await receiver dot peak message asynchronously. That's it. And what we will do here is if message is not equal to null, okay, then write it down here. There's a chance that a message might be null. So that's the reason I have added this condition. Now in this, we will try and change this message dot body dot to string. Yeah, that's it. So in this, again, I'll just quickly go through. First, what we are doing, we are creating the connection. Next, we have created the sender here. Next, we are trying to send the message. And here we are creating the receiver. And, and while creating the receiver, we have given the options, the service receiver options. There we have mentioned in which mode we want to receive the message. It should be in the peak log. And then we are just going to pick the message. So let me just run this. And let me put a debugger here to see first if the message is going into the service bus. And then we will go and do the peak. So it has hit the breakpoint. Let me just quickly go and refresh it here. Peak from start. So here we can see the message. Hello Rohit, peak message. I will go back to the code and I'll try to peak the same from there. Press F10 and it is going to pick that message. Yes, message is not null and it has successfully pasted this. Now, what will happen in this case, since we just picked the message, it shouldn't increase the delivery count. Also, the message should be there in the IO service bus. So let me go back. You see here the delivery count is zero. Let me try to and refresh it and pick the next message. Okay, pick from start. So if you see delivery count is still zero because we are just picking the message. We are not going to do any operations on that message. That was the reason delivery count is zero and the message is still there. It is not deleted. It is not abundant. It is not deferral or anything has happened over there. Cool. So this is how we can pick the message.